Welcome to this video guys. Let's quickly create a telegram bot that can set reminders for you. First, let's go to telegram and let's search for bot father. So you better come to bot father if you have to create a bot. Let's select and I've already tried it out. So let's uh, say new bot. Hit enter and it will ask you what are you going to call it? So I'll just call this one TCC new reminder. Hit enter and let's select the username. So this username needs to be unique. So I'll just call this new reminder and it has to end with a bot. Okay, so this is a must. And once you have this, this will give you an access key. Let's click on this and this will be copied. Now let's do the coding part. So I'm in my mini projects directory. There are already a few projects here. So you can clone this and try these two if you want. But for now, let's create a new file and let's call this telegram reminder bot.py. And first, let's start with the imports. So we need these imports here. Now we require a library called Python telegram bot. So if you don't have it, you need to install it. And the so just do pip install Python telegram bot and it will be installed in your environment and once the installation is done you can import these things for me it's already installed okay once you have the imports you need to define a start function so what does the start function do let me just close this so you can see the full thing now the start function will send the message to your user whenever they first open your bot okay so let's see this in action so i'll just create a main function here and this is your token so you need to re replace this thing with whatever we had copied okay so this was the key right and this is how you initialize the application and finally you add a handler that is start so this start command will be sent whenever the user first joins your bot okay and after that you need to do application dot run polling so that your application runs continuously and finally we'll just call this main function if we've just run it without importing this anywhere else okay so now whenever we run this file this main function will be called okay and we add a handler for user start and start is just saying hello i'm your bot send me a message and i will echo it back change this and i will set a reminder okay so now let's run this python telegram bot, reminder bot.py hit enter and it is running because there is no error so now let's go to telegram and let's see what it does or let's just click this and I'm taken here. All right, so I'll just click on start. And as you can see, hello, I'm your bot, send me a message and I will set a reminder is sent. Now let's set the reminder part. So first, let's create a function that will handle reminders. Okay, so we've already created a function for start. Similarly, we created, we will create a function that will do our reminder part. So first of all, let's create a new function, async function, and let's call it set reminder again. We'll also take the same things as above here like this and let's add a functionality so what we are doing here is whenever this set reminder function is called we will send a message back to the user saying remind this is the time in seconds and message and whenever we receive a reminder like uh, let's say i want to remind you after 10 seconds or whatever and uh, our bot will send a message like reminder set for 10 seconds okay and after 10 seconds delay, the reminder will be sent to the user. Now, of course, there are a lot of limitations here because this has to be continuously running and we are doing this in a thread. So if there's a lot of reminders, there's highly, uh, it's highly likely that this will be crashed. So yeah, but this is a basic example. If you guys want me to save this in a database and instead of sleeping, use some other method like polling or something else, actually make it scalable, hit a like and comment down in the and comment below and i'll extend this project and make it a bit more scalable all right for now what we are doing here is the user say, wants us to remind after 10 seconds we're just sleeping for 10 seconds and then we send a message with the reminder message so here you can see arcs so what's the difference between a normal message and a command a normal message you just receive a message right but in a command it starts with slash so i'll just show you what it is in our example but first let me add a handler for this also so what I do is add handler and command handler. So if there's a command remind sent from the user, this set reminder function is called. And we've already discussed what we're doing here. So let's just see what's the difference between a command and a normal message. So whatever you send from here is a command you, that starts with this. If I just say hello, nothing will happen because I have not handled any message. See, because in our code here, we've just, hand, just handled two commands that is start and remind remind and if user sends any other message uh, we have not handled the message we've just handled commands we can handle messages also but for now we're just handling start and remind command so if i just say slash remind what happens is nothing happened because i have not actually run this so 
let me run this again and now if i go back to telegram and see now it shows me how to use it right it says users is remind then time in seconds and then the message so if i don't have the full commands options sent here if i just said remind and then hit enter it will say wrong uses so i have to enter the full thing so i'll say remind after 10 seconds what i want to do is after 10 seconds i want to let's say i want to get rich and what it'll, it'll do is it'll say reminder set for 10 seconds get rich after 10 seconds you'll get this message back from telegram i am assuming it's not 10 seconds yet so let's wait so there you go now you get the reminder of course this is a very basic example as i've already mentioned but this is how basically you can create a reminder bot that is very not scalable Ideally, you'd want to save this somewhere, not in the memory, probably in the database, because if it is saved in the memory and your bot crashes, all the reminders will be lost. So go ahead, play with it and try to create it in a database. Try to save these things in a database. And if you want me to create a full-fledged reminder bot, let me know in the comments below.